puts this thing into focus, we would think that a young African-American alderman with an active and involved constituency would support policies that would enable children that look like him to succeed, would support communities prepared to invest in their schools, that he would see himself in the eyes of those children that have been neglected. But unfortunately, Alderman Will Burns has done exactly the opposite. And we are calling on Mayor Rahm Emanuel to intervene. We will not be placated. We will not be put in, in bogus meetings anymore. This is what our Alderman has done. Alderman Will Burns did nothing while diet feeder schools, Price, Fuller, and Woodson were either closed or taken over by private management companies. Alderman Will Burns did nothing to stop the sabotage and eventual vote to phase out diet in 2012. Alderman Will Burns did nothing to prevent CPS from gutting effective diet programs like Avid, Life After Diet, Intelligent Young Men in Diet, Love Female Mentoring Program, and Voices of Youth in Chicago Education. Alderman Will Burns did nothing to stop CPS from lobbying those students immediately after the phase out and offer them bus rides to go to another school. Alderman Will Burns did nothing while those students were forced to go through the back door of their school like this was 1947. Alderman Will Burns did nothing while dying students lost their honors in their AP courses. He did nothing while they had to take art, music, physical education, physical education as online classes. And now he does nothing while CPS forces the remaining students out of their school. So what is Alderman Will Burns' grade from us today? Yeah. What is his grade? Yeah. So we will no longer stand by and allow elected officials who carry the water for corporate interests to use our children as stepladders for their own political career and their political interests. So now we have coming up to, to the front, we have uh, to just indicate the fact that we've done more than what our job is to do. We've developed a plan that is light years ahead of anything that CPS has proposed. So Dr. Rico Gustine from the University of Illinois Chicago College of Education. Rico, R I C O, Gutstein, G U T, like Thomas, S Sam, T E I N, Gut and Stein. And I'm a professor in the College of Education at UIC. What school district, ward, and city administration would ignore four plus years of sustained, committed, intelligent work? of probably 200 parents, students, teachers, community members, and educational professionals whose only goal for the thousands of hours of unpaid work was to improve the education of children in the Bronzeville community. That's the story that we have here. The education research is abundant and clear. Involved school communities not only make a real difference in educational quality, but this dedication is an indispensable condition for good schools. Common sense says, says so too. Whose interests are served when you ignore the deep wells of experience and wisdom from the people about the education of their own children? Children whom, least we forget, have been ignored, left behind, miseducated, disenfranchised, displaced, and disinvested in for decades, if not centuries. The plan for the diet, global leadership, and green technology school is viable. Read it. David Vitale, Vitale, president of the school board, the appointed school board, sat across the table from us me, and said he liked our plan. He himself said that he wanted to spread green technology in the high schools. When we told him we wanted to meet with Ms. Bird Bennett, he said, I'll quote, I'll tell her we talked and she should listen. I wrote down his words. Alderperson Burns, Mayor Emanuel, accept this plan, put together with the help of the UIC College of Education, the DuSable Museum, the Chicago Botanic Garden, the Kenwood Oakland Community Organization, Teachers for jo Social Justice, and many others. It represents community vision and hopes. It is based in education research, and it comes from the heart of the people, filled with love for the community and children. Thank you. <laughs>